While some devices have large screens and complex menus, some have a way more minimal design or just a simple interface without too many options. But some devices give you the option of using Bluetooth, which can give you all of the customization you want and more directly from your smartphone. This lets you use the device as is without using the app, or you can get into the customization and look at diagnostics of your device. Now, if you have an Android, these apps are available directly in the Google Play Store, but if you have an iPhone, well, Apple banned any vaping related app back in late 2019, so you're out of luck. Actually, there is a workaround that lets you use these apps directly with your iPhone, and it's really easy to do, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. Okay, to start, you need a web BLE enabled browser. The default Safari browser doesn't let you do that, but you can download either the Connect or the BlueFi browser. Both of them are available on the App Store and they're both free. A web BLE enabled browser lets you connect the website you're on with a Bluetooth device. And this is how you interface your device with the browser to let you use the app. Let's go ahead and set this up with the Venti. In this example, we're gonna use the BlueFi browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then it's going to be just a standard sort of a search window and I'm gonna search stores Bickle web app. The first result that comes up, SMB web app, click on that. Gonna go ahead, click enter and then access web app. The next thing you wanna do is save this to a reading list, making it much easier to access next time. So click in the bottom right there, we're gonna go add to reading list. And then once we click this little home icon, you can see in our reading list, when we click on that, it's going to go directly into this app. So now I'm gonna click connect. Now, right now you're seeing a Stores and Bickle device come up. That's because I have multiple Stores and Bickle Bluetooth devices in my home, but I'm gonna make sure I have the Venti turned on. And now you see a new one pops up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the one with the VY because I know that's for the Venti. Now, as you can see, you're connected right now. This is the web app that you're connected to. It can tell my device is turned on. It can tell what temperature it's set at. I can change my temperature, the whole works. You're in the web app at this point. By default, it sends you to the temperature screen. Here I can adjust my temperature. You're gonna see it's going to adjust the temperature on my device as I change it. I do find sometimes there's a bit of a disconnect. Like I have it set to 390 and it's going to 388. If I go to 392, let's see what it does. Now it goes to 390. So it seems like it's off by two or something like that. So uh, just something to be aware of. It's showing us our battery level there. When we go down, it's showing us our boost temperature. So we can change what we want our boost to be as well as our super boost. And that's going to be based on whatever the base temperature you have it set to. Okay, next when we go to the settings, we can turn the vibration off or on, which is nice. Charge current optimization to reduce battery aging due to slower charging. So if you wanna reduce battery aging, turn that on. If you don't really care, turn it off. You can also set the charge volt limit to reduce battery aging by a 90% give or take charge limit. So it's not gonna charge it past 90% to try to optimize your battery life. So if you really wanna worry about your battery life for the long term, turn both of those on. Next, you can have a visualization of the super boost. When you turn this off, it's not going to blink the CRF to indicate the super boost mode. Pretty granular setting. And then you can adjust the LED brightness. Let's turn that way down. I mean, you can barely even see it now. And then when we go ahead, oh, can't grab it. There we go. Sometimes a little tough to grab the thing. I'm just kind of pressing rather than dragging. There we go, a good drag. Now that's all the way to the top again. Now next, when we go to the Venti tab, here we have our hours of operation, 21 minutes. This is my new replacement Venti here. Your serial number, what firmware version you're on, and then the firmware bootloader. Not sure exactly what that means. And then you can also do an analysis. Let's go ahead and click on that. Charge limit activated, improves battery life, but reduces capacity. Charge optimization activated, improves battery life, but reduces charging speed. Can do an analysis and then also just give you a kind of feedback about how you have your device set up. Now the final tab there, if you click information, and this takes you to a Venti FAQ, quick start page, has some information if you're having any issues with it. One thing that's cool, you see it has the green numbers according to the temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down and you see it turns it down on the app as well. So now we're down at 380 and then watch when I turn it off, then that turns the venti light out and it also turns the temperature off. But as you can see, it's still connected. It's still telling me my battery life even after it turns off. So I don't know how long you can access it when it is turned off, but in general, when you're using this, you're also gonna be using your venti. So you can see it's a pretty straightforward process to do the first time. And then every subsequent time you wanna do it, it's only going to be easier. 
So it's a good thing to go in there, check out at least once. It might be the only time you use it, but now you know how to use your Venti with the web app using an iPhone.